It's a huge college basketball card on Wednesday night. Conference tournament action continues. A lot of the big boys are playing the early rounds, but the most important games remain in those mid-major conference tournaments. And there is a team from Montana going to the big dance this season. Montana State, Montana play in the Big Sky Funnel. Your late night game, 1130 Eastern on ESPN2. I'm going to let you know the best way to play this game and make some money. Free analysis in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, back here on Wager Talk TV. And this is the third time this season that Montana State and Montana are playing. And it most likely will be the Montana Grizzlies going to the big show because they did win the two regular season matchups. Both teams are pretty mediocre defensively, but Montana holds a huge edge on offense. They also played a slower half-court style. Montana State needs to play fast. And after playing several games in a row, I think it's going to be a difficult setup. So I do like Montana to advance. But of course, they're laying the six, six and a half points. So it's more, will they cover? They're currently about minus 270 on the money line. There's no value there. I would lean towards Montana minus the points because I think they're going to win the game. And by the way, 70% of the time when a team wins the first two meetings, they win the third meeting straight up. But it's only about 50-50 against the spread. And I do have a couple concerns. By the way, my top recommendation is on the over-under. I'm going to give that to you free here in a moment. But the other reason I'm lukewarm on Montana minus the six, six and a half is because although they won the two regular season meetings, they shot lights out from three-point range in both of those games. In fact, uh, the first game they won by 10 on the road. It was high scoring, 87 to 77, but they were 64% from three-point range. And uh, Montana State themselves shot 55% overall from the field. Montana was 62% from the field, 64 from three. And then the more recent meeting uh, in February on the 17th, Montana won easily at home by 19, 88, 69. That also went over the total. It was 147 in that game. Once again, Montana lights out from three. Uh, They were 13 for 30, 43% overall. Um, I don't think the shooting will be as good in this game. Montana State actually outshot them from the field in that meeting, 46 to four. Got outshot 47 to 46. So the three point barrage was pretty heavy for Montana. So that makes me a little lukewarm on the side. I lean Grizzlies, but I'm staying off the side. I think the total, though, is where there is some value tonight. And I like under the total here for a couple reasons. First of all, it opened 147, heavy, sharp money on the under. And look, we've seen this in a lot of these conference tournament finals so far this week. The wise guys, the sharps know that these games go under more times than not. The odds makers have yet to catch on to that. And it has dropped from 147 down to 143. I agree with that sharp money move. Uh, under 143, 143 and a half would be the recommendation here. On the blind, about 58% of all conference finals have gone under here over the past several years. And it makes sense. We talk about this a lot in the NBA playoffs as well. You get more defensive intensity in these must-win games, these playoff atmosphere games. And the other problem is the odds makers use the regular season stats. They look at the earlier meetings, which don't have that intensity. And the total is too high on the surface for that reason. These two teams played twice this year. The total was 45 and a half and 147. Both went over, as I mentioned. So they opened this 147. It's now been bet down to 143 and a half, even 143 at the sharper books. I like the under in this game. Um, as I mentioned, Montana does play at a slower half-court pace. They're the better team. I think they will dictate tempo on this neutral court in Boise, Idaho. And I know both squads are used to the altitude up there in the Northwest, but still playing several games in a row in thin air and altitude is difficult. Montana State being the lower seed, this is their third game in three nights. And of course, Montana also, even though the higher seed, they've had to play three games in three nights as well. So I look for a slower half-court game. That probably favors Montana on the side, minus six. But more importantly, I think it favors the under 143, 143 and a half. That's my recommendation on ESPN2 at 1130 Eastern tonight, the Big Sky Conference Finals. Hey, comment below. What are your thoughts on this game? What other college basketball games are you playing tonight on Wednesday? I love the interaction. I really appreciate it. I reply back. I read all the comments. Let's win together tonight on Wednesday. What other college plays are you looking at? Comment below. And if you have some time, throw in a couple sentences of analysis. I honestly believe. We have the sharpest and smartest sports betting viewers here on Wager Talk TV. Hey, if you'd like to be part of that family, make sure you've clicked subscribe and click the bell for instant alerts when these free play videos go live every day. Also, thumbs up, like goes a long way keeping this great content free. And if you'd like my personal best bets tonight on Wednesday, I've got a strong two-for-one special, an NBA play and a college play, a rare, and I do mean rare, NBA over-under best bet. I've only released 10 NBA over-unders over the past two seasons combined. I know they've gone 80%. I've got another one going tonight, and also a college basketball steamroller blowout side selection. Nobody has won more units in college and pro basketball sides in the history of wagertalk.com than I have. I've got two strong plays going tonight, one in the NBA, one in college. Each is 25, 
or get a two-for-one special for just $29. That's right. It's, you don't have to decide. You're getting the second play for just $4. Now, if you like the two-for-one $29 option, you might want to consider a three-day special because I have a special promo code on this video only for you, and that's three days and nights for just $49 with promo code STEVE3. Normally, it's $69 for three days. You get an instant $20 discount when you use promo code STEVE3 for a three-day all-access. It gets both best bets tonight, gets all of Thursday, all of Friday's daytime at nighttime NBA and college tournament action. It's a great time to try the three-day sampler, and the price has never been better with promo code STEVE3. S-T-E-V-E, the number three. STEVE3 gets you three days and nights for just $49 right now, including both those strong best bets for Wednesday. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Also, I have a bonus free play on the page right now between the Heat and Nuggets on ESPN National TV. Check out a free bonus National TV NBA play. But more importantly, use promo code Steve3 for the next three days and nights for just 49 all sports. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Follow me on Twitter and X as well, at Steve Merrill. Two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on Twitter and X. And I also post free plays throughout the week on Instagram. Follow me on IG. And stay tuned right here to Wager Talk TV for more great college and pro basketball preview videos coming up next.